Ephesians 4 verse 1 in the uh, complete Jewish Bible says therefore it's a letter from Paul to Ephesus and he's saying therefore I the prisoner uh, being united with the Lord beg you to lead a life worthy of the calling to which you have been called that's Ephesians chapter 4 verse 1 in this letter we have Shul, or, or, or the Apostle Paul, as you guys would call him, uh, talking to the congregation. A and we find this sharp set of instructions here. So it, it brings to matter what it is I um, can do uh, as a person to know how to live this life worthy of a calling by which we have been called. We look in further into the into the chapter, and he says, first of all, be humble." Now, this is easy. You have never seen such a person more humble than uh, myself. Have you, do you, um, wow, do you hear the arrogance just in that statement alone? A true person of humility never boasts about anything. We brag about, you know, how much more scripture we can quote than our friend next door. We, we, we boast about how more of the uh, Torah we might keep over another school. We brag about issues about being more holy. Maybe our beard is longer or our locks are longer or um, we wear blacker clothes than, than they do. Uh, I, I was on another site and a person meaning well invited me sometime to stop in if I was ever she would serve me a glass of beer and my reply was quick I'm not Ashkenazi Ashkenazi feel that drinking beer is okay and, and that's all right for their school but in my school you know we don't we're taught not to drink beer all right we consider it not kosher not that that would slight my my brethren in the Ashkenazi camp it's just the way we feel and so for me it would be more appropriate to offer me a glass of wine without insulting me unfortunately in my statement they became insulted and I had to say no 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 because they thought that I was being greedy and demanding a certain thing and that wasn't my intent I said no it's just a matter of school the way I brought up the way I'm taught the way I believe the way I think and sometimes you know our, our humbleness and it becomes more of an arrogance thing than it is anything else. I'm better than you are. We have to be humble to be of God. He says to walk humbly in His ways. The second thing that we need to do is to be gentle, not Gentile. The second term, Gentile, has a stigma, especially for those which are non-Jewish belief systems. Gentile, also known as Goyim, though can also be just as easily applied to us, whether Messianic or any form of the Jewish belief system, as it is for those people on the outside world. Why? It's because it has to do with how we act. Not only to these people, who are strangers in our camp, but also to each other. Are we kind? to those that are from our school. It is said that, you know, we are judged not only by the thou shalt nots, but also against the thou shalt. And equally, we're not judged by the thou shalt not as we are by the thou shalt. What do you mean by that, Rabbi? What I mean is simply this, that it's not only because the Bible says you shall not do this. It's what I do do so that I don't do that can be just as much of a sin as what I do do if I did that which I did not do. do you, does that make any sense to you? It, it's sort of like I have this one little example. Perhaps this will help you. Uh, Rabbi Ben Cohen comes in. He puts five dollars on the table and walks off to go get a cup of coffee. We're Jewish. We should trust each other. 
Along comes Rabbi Vitamin, and he opens the door and walks in to say, Hi, everybody, how are you doing? And the wind blows, and five dollars floats across the floor. In walks Rabbi Daniel, and I see five dollars on the floor, and I pick it up, and I put it in my pocket. Woohoo, I found five dollars. Rabbi Benjamin comes back to his uh, chair and looks down and there's no five dollars and he asks the question has anybody seen five dollars on the table and the Bible says thou shalt not lie so I say no I did not find five dollars on the table did I lie no I did not lie but I still sin because I didn't do what was right before my God to understand now the righteous thing of a righteous man who follows after his God is to reach in his pocket and say well no Rabbi Benjamin you know I didn't find five dollars on the table but when I walked in there was five dollars halfway across the room and judging by the where I found it as to where your table is chances are a wind blew it and it fell on the floor here my brother let me return this back to you you see, it's not just thou shalt not. It's also what I shall do in the not doing. Anyway, this is the first part of living a life worthy of the calling. This is Rabbi Daniel saying Shalom.